All right, here we go again. My usual annual flaming of people purchasing Pokemon and people blatantly trying to generate money off of a service that's technically free and could technically be free if you know the right people and you're involved deeply within the Pokemon community. Now, obviously, things as this are not as egregious as they used to be, but I'm kind of glad because you guys recall about a year ago, I made a video whereas there's a certain uh, person or group of people out there that was trying to legitimately charge a thousand dollars for a full shiny dex. And I shit you not, I'm looking at this website and obviously it's not there anymore because I think they got flamed pretty hard for that. And they actually made their Facebook group uh, private. <laughs> I don't know if it was me, but I'm pretty sure people have been taking notes of it. Um, but let me tell you something, man. PK Hex is free. Generating Pokemon is free. There's literally Discord groups, Facebook groups, whatever Reddit groups are out there that can give you any Pokemon you want for free. Now, obviously, they're not going to give you a thousand Pokemon right off the bat because that's kind of crazy. And it takes a lot of time because the time to trade, the time of choosing the Pokemon and all that, it takes hours, if not days, because that's a huge ask. But to charge people a hundred dollars for a full shiny dex, you know what a hundred bucks is? It's literally the base game plus a DLC. You got transfer mods for 80 bucks. Bro, if you load up Pokemon Home and you have a copy of Sword and Shield and BDSP and Legends Arceus. This is kind of worthless. And then, of course, the master of them all, the Pokemon Home Master Dex, for $200. All Pokemon are shiny, 6 IV and optimized. OT name is Ash, $200. Oh, but before we get into that, if you really, really, really want to have your own OT... It's a five dollar charge per order. Now I don't know. I don't know if it's five dollars per Pokemon, which is kind of fucking insane to even describe that to begin with. But yo, like really, two hundred dollars? Two hundred dollars? Go get yourself a copy of Legends Arceus, BDSP, Sword and Shield, and you still will have enough money left over for I don't know a good old burger and fries and shake, a whole ass meal if you want. Literally. You can get this for free. There's really no need to be charging people. And it's especially crazy in hindsight because, you know, the economy right now is kind of shit. Stock market is not that great. Uh, interest rates are terrible right now if you want to buy something new like a car or a house, especially in California. In California, you know, we get the shaft when it comes to economics. But to charge people like this, bro, when you know that we just got out of a literal pandemic and the housing market and the car market and the stock market is like really bad right now. This ain't good, man. This ain't really good. And just by looking at everything else here, like charging $60 for fucking butterflies, bro, just go to the natural science museum. You can walk in that motherfucker for like $5. You see all the butterflies you want. Eevee evolutions for $40, bro. You can literally catch Eevee. In game. Multiple times, by the way. Like, what? And then you have the Paradox Shinies. Look, Shiny Paradox Pokemon aren't that hard to, like, actually hunt. The Paradox Pokemon aren't that crazy. If you have the Shiny Charm and all that stuff, you got nothing to worry about. Then you got the Moon Balls. $20 for eight Moon Balls. One each, by the way. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jackie Chan. What the hell? That's because they're Chinese. Oh my God, racist! No, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> I'll never, I'll never call someone that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's nah. I can't believe they call it Jackie Chan though. That's that's kind of wild. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, look, man. I know if I had all the resources in the world, I'd do it for free. Honestly, because you know I like to give back to the community, doing free stuff in return, and. Obviously, likes and, likes and subscriptions are free. They're literally free. I don't really ask for anything. You want to donate, you donate. That's fine. But to charge people an obnoxious amount of money for Pokemon that you might not even care about six months after is insane. Like, if you look up the top PokeTubers out there and they have their own Discord channels, 
I guarantee you some of them, if not the majority of them, have services like this where it's all free. If you become a member or you have access to the public bots, like they'll do it for free. It's all free. That's all they ask for. And and pretty much it's unlimited times you can use them. I mean, obviously don't abuse them as often, but I mean, my goodness, bros. $100, $200. Oh my God. I mean, I don't know what to say at this point, but it's kind of funny. Like the creator of PK Hex, he knows all this stuff is probably going on and people are just taking advantage of it. It's kind of funny because the moment he trademark something like PK Hex or copyrights it or, you know, claims it as intellectual property, like legally, like pretty much all this shit that's going on, all these revenues that are being generated from people doing stupid shit like this, they would all go to Kurt, who's the creator of PK Hex. So, and by the way, it's not guaranteed any of these are legal. You know, being legal as a Pokemon you know, yeah, you can pass trade in battles, but are they really allowed in the game? Maybe, maybe not. But at the same time, it's like, dude, there's just no way. Insane work going on around here. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. Um, like and subscribe. It's going to be kind of hot, not going to lie. <laughs> Peace.